Hey yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Swifty, and I'm back today with another tutorial. On this one, I'm gonna break down how to make ambient loops like Wheezy. Let's start a video with some saws. I used a plugin called Chords, so I loaded up the preset called Glitch, and I just went on there in the Transpose section, and I made sure the master and the notes right there were all at zero. So as you can see, when you load up the preset, it starts at minus five there and plus five here. That's gonna make the master be five semitones down from the note you're playing, and this note right there is gonna be five semitones up, and we don't want that. So we're gonna put this at zero. But next, I just used the one note, C sharp five. I went on my helpers, right? there scale highlighting and i chose c sharp i just right click on c sharp and i right click on minor natural that way i'm sure i'm in a key of c sharp minor i got my light shaded notes that are in key and the dark shaded ones that you don't want to use i just use the root note for this preset and that's what it sounds like with no effects So it doesn't sound super good so that's why i went on to the effects first i put some reverb made sure i turned up the mix pretty high that way it sounds really ambient then i put some loop operator and i used the preset called moonwalk so basically what this is gonna do it's gonna put like a nice little reverse effect and then lastly i just put an eq to cut the highs because i didn't like these frequencies then i cut the lows that's what it sounds like with the effects Right, so next i just duplicated the plugin and i just found another preset called one finger does all also i made sure that time that these were at zero but with this preset there's two sounds that are note layer and a chord layer so this is going to play a chord and this is going to play a single note i just turned down the level of the chord because i wanted it to be in the background and i made that one minus 12 so that's a whole octave that way you can tell the difference between the chord and the note i just came up with this simple little pattern i just used the root note again and then i added the b right before I drop into the root note again. This is what it sounds like with no effects. Next on the effects, I just put the same reverb, put the mix almost at 100% and the decay pretty high. That way it's really ambient. Then I put the same loop operator, the moonwalk preset, and I just tweaked it a little bit. So that way, instead of reversing the whole length of the pattern, I just did it on there. Next, I put the serial control, turned it all the way up. So it's super ambient, super wide. Then the same type of EQ, I cut the highs, cut the lows. And this is what it sounds like with the effects. So next I opened up RK and I used the preset called Mists of Time. It's from the Distant Voices library. As you can see, I don't have Arcade anymore, so I can't show you the preset, but this is the name of it. I just used one note. It sounds like this with no effects. Next for the effects, I just put the reverb, turned the mix all the way up, the decay pretty high, then the stereo control, made it pretty wide, then the same type of EQ, but this time I cut more lows and more highs because I wanted that radio telephone type of effect. This is what it sounds like with the effects. Lastly, I opened up Omnisphere and I found this low preset called Lead Trophy for the pattern. I just used the root note first and then I went down and I came back up at the end, as you can see with the G sharp to go back into the C sharp. There's no explanation that I can give you. It's just what sounded good to me. But always you got to follow the notes, the light shaded notes, as you can see in the scale. That's how I came up with this pattern. You got to be creative and just try things. This is what the lead sounds like with no effects. Alright, for the effects, I just put some reverb, turn the mix all the way up, turn the decay pretty low so I didn't want the notes to bleed over each other. Then I put a serial control, turned it to 150%, and lastly an EQ, same type of EQ for the vocals. This time, not only did I cut the highs, but the mids too, and I kept some of the low mid. This is what the lead sounds like with the effects.
as you can hear the difference was not that big but to me it just sounded cleaner that's why i did that and then lastly i just have all the patterns right there i click on the first one then i hold ctrl and shift and then i click on the last one that way it just selects all the patterns then i just right click then i clicked on quick render as audio clip that way it just rendered them out as audio clips like that and then i pitched up all the audio clips 200 cents so i went from c sharp minor to d sharp minor and this is what the whole loop sounds like Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something. Drop some sauce with the course plugin. Make sure you let me know in the comments what type of videos y'all want to see next. Make sure you check the Patreon with the $10 subscription if you want to do Zoom classes or Discord classes with the whole DK team. And I'll catch y'all next time.